Let's talk about Xiaomi's MIUI 12 announcement for India. <clears throat> What's up peeps, Manji here, back with another video and Xiaomi held an online event and announced MIUI 12 for India today. Now for starters, there was no mention about any of the POCO devices and that I think is because POCO is an independent brand which now competes with Xiaomi and Redmi devices. Also, they run a special version of MIUI 12 called MIUI for POCO which as per Seaman Mohan and some Mi fans is close to stock Android. So I'm pretty sure that the POCO team has their own event planned for this MIUI for POCO, which they are going to roll out for the POCO devices. Now, jokes apart, coming back to the main topic, the event or the online video which they posted. It was absolutely an awesome video. You know, it was a 24 minute video the first eight minutes were total marketing, nothing related to MIUI 12. They are trying to sell their laptops, their beard trimmers, their chargers. Pretty sure now they are going to get into the shoes and undergarments market as well. Then there was a lot of marketing about the Xiaomi Mi 10. The last five minutes was just a black screen with the MIUI logo. So effectively, the video was around 12 minutes and a few seconds give and take. So we can now go through the features which they announced for MIUI 12 in India. And for full disclosure, I am running the MIUI 12 China ROM on my Redmi K20 Pro. And it does have more features than MIUI 12 in India. Anyways, so their new features include, for starters, the new control center, which of course you can enable from settings and display and then we can go into control center and status bar and here and use the new control center so swipe from the right hand side you will get your control center swipe from the left you will get your notifications so this is the first new feature and then they also talked about some gaussian blur over here in the control center something which is very new in miui 12 other than that, they have also added icon animations. So there it is. You can see that the settings icon is animated and similarly the weather icon is also animated and the same applies for the gallery icon as well. Animations, animations and animations. Other than that, they have also added some new UI. So you can go into settings, my device. Here it is. You can see the new UI. Go into storage, these pretty cool graphs and stuff. So all these are supposed to be coming to MIUI 12 in India. Next up, they say they have a new weather application. So here is how the new weather app is going to look like. And whatever you see from your window is what you're going to see in the weather app as well. So if it is raining, you will see the rain effect here. If there is a lightning strike, you will see lightning on your screen. So this weather app actually is pretty real life and it responds to the weather outside your window. Then they said they're also going to add super wallpapers so you can go into settings and go into wallpaper you should have the option for super wallpapers now do note nowhere in the presentation did they mention that this super wallpaper feature is for amoled devices only so if you have a device with a lcd panel and you do not get the super live wallpapers then don't come to me and ask why you didn't get this feature you need to ask the dude Murli who was giving the presentation. Other than that, they have also added a super impressive feature called dark mode. So you can go into settings, display, dark mode, and bam, here it is, dark mode 2.0 in the building, wherein you can also configure dark mode for third party applications as well. And you also have the option to adjust your contrast automatically. So this is dark mode 2.0 from Xiaomi, which will be introduced with MIUI 12. Next up, a feature which a lot of me fans request give us an app drawer give us an app drawer well we finally got that feature in miui 12 without using poop launcher so you can go into settings home screen you can see we have miui 12 or system launcher tap on home screen and bam there it is you can now switch between classic and with an application drawer next up they have redesigned the camera application so you can now theme the camera app as you can see i do have the theming feature here for that you need to go into 
the camera settings and then you can go into customize here you have colors right now it is set as yellow select blue apply and bam you can see that the colors or the accent color is now blue next up if you go into more this clone feature has also been added now in the presentation they did market a lot about the xiaomi mi 10 and they did say that this feature is on mi 10 as of now they did not give out any details whether this feature will be rolled out to other devices or not next up in cast they have added a universal cast tool so for that you'll go into settings connection and sharing and here it is this is your new universal cast which does give you the option of hiding your private items when you are casting your phone's display on some other device next up if you try to share a photograph from your gallery you now have the option of stripping some data so if i tap on send i can now protect my privacy by sharing this image or the same applies for videos as well so you can share images and videos without sharing the location and the metadata about it and if you ever feel like changing this you can do that by going into the gallery settings and from there once you are in the settings option you will have this option called secure sharing so from here then you can enable or disable this super cool feature which xiaomi is going to add with miui 12. next up another important feature is floating windows and as you can see i have the option on the top left of my screen here it is it is going to open all the applications which you see here in a floating window there it is gallery was opened in a floating window i can move this window around you can also press and hold and resize it and you can dismiss it as well so this is a great feature for those of you who multitask on your devices and the last feature which they have added is ultra battery saver mode now please correct me if i am wrong this feature was supposed to come with miui 11 but it is finally making its way with miui 12 so you can go into settings battery and performance of course you do have the new ui and here it is ultra battery saver mode this feature turns your device into a dumb phone so that you can only make calls send sms and connect to the network that's it so your battery backup is of course going to be increased and if your battery is running down say at five percent make sure you do enable this impressive feature called ultra battery saver mode from xiaomi and the best part about that whole presentation was saved for the end and that was the miui 12 rollout for india the schedule have a look at this schedule this is a joke they mentioned the devices and say starting august 2020 my dear friend murli we are already in august 2020 in fact it is almost mid august you could have at least listed the devices for which you have already rolled out miui 12 updates and the redmi k20 pro is one of those devices in india so i'm not sure what is going on here maybe you recorded this video way back in july and you're posting it now and for other devices which are not mentioned on the screen you just have to follow their social media because xiaomi and their people are so responsive on social media that they give out exact dates and times when they are going to roll out miui 12 update for your device now poco peeps before you ask me the poco team might come out with their own miui 12 video and the schedule but you know we might have to wait because right now they are kind of busy bringing up devices from the ground up and bringing new devices to india under the poco brand oh man what a bunch of fools